Hello, in this session, we will create a reflection effect similar to that seen on a CD. First, we'll use Unreal's modeling tools. Switch to modeling mode from the select menu at the top. Choose the disk tool, then set radial slices to around 30. The higher the value, the rounder the disk becomes. Next, set radial subdivisions to 30 as well, and change the disk type to punctured disk. This will create a disk with a hole in the center. You can adjust the hole radius to control the size of the hole in the middle. Now create a new material and name it M-Disk. Open the material, right-click on the base color, and select the option to create a parameter for the PBR value. Change the color to white. Next, create parameters for metallic, roughness, and anisotropy. Set the default values to 1, 0, 1, and 1, respectively. To preview the material on the model, select the model disk, then go back to the material editor and click the icon at the bottom right of the preview pane to apply the material to the selected mesh. To simulate the surface texture seen on a CD, create a vector to radial value node. Connect a component mask and enable only the G channel. Then, connect a multiply node followed by a sine node. Adjust the multiply value to control the number of lines. In this case, set it to 10. Connect the result to a texture sample. For the texture, select T water N. Add a camera vector and connect it to Custom Reflection Vector. Custom Reflection Vector is a node that generates reflections using a normal texture. The reflection vector determines the direction of the reflected light. Connect a max node to ensure there are no negative values. Create a Vector 3 node and set it to 111. Connect a component mask, set it to RGB, and normalize it. Perform a dot product with the max value. Use Saturate to clamp the range between 0 and 1. And then connect a power node to adjust the intensity. Connect a parameter to the EXP input and set the value to 20. Next, create a hue shift node. While using a gradient texture would be easier, we'll use hue shift for this effect. Multiply the value to control brightness by adding a parameter and then connect this to the emissive color. When you move the preview, you'll notice that the color changes depending on the viewing angle, and the normal map effect is also visible. To apply the color in segments, first, duplicate the component mask and select only the R channel. Multiply the result and connect a sign node. To create smooth transitions between the segmented colors, add a blur sample offsets node and apply it. The result will be a blurred version of the segmented output. 
Connect this to hue shift percentage in the hue shift. Since the segments might be too close together, multiply the value to reduce the number of segments. Try multiplying by around 0.3. As you move the preview, you'll see the effect change depending on the viewing angle. To apply this material to the mesh, create an instance of MDisk and name it MIDisk. Apply this instance to your mesh. You can move around and check the effect in real time. Finally, open MIDisk and tweak the parameters to achieve your desired effect.